What is up everyone? It's Jessica. I hope you've got your coffee. Uh, this is a long one. I'm coming to you from the end of the video to let you know now. Man, I try to not talk so much. I just can't help it. Today we're going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup. I've got a whole bunch of new stuff I wanted to play with, try out. A couple of products I already love, but a lot of new. I've been in such a filming mood today, and so I'm excited to share all this with you guys. So this video is sponsored by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Thank you so much, e.l.f., for supporting my channel and sponsoring this video. We'll be playing with some e.l.f. products. We'll also be playing with some other drugstore brands as well. So if you've never heard of e.l.f., I'm sure you have, but e.l.f. stands for eyes, lips, face. If you didn't know, they are 100% vegan. They are cruelty free. Their prices, you guys, there's a reason over the years I've always loved this brand. I've used them ever since the start of my channel and before because they have good products with good ingredients and the quality is there but they keep their prices reasonable, and that's what I love about them. They also have good skincare. We're gonna play with a little bit of that today as well. And I just have so many favorites from the brand over the years, and that's why I was so excited to partner with them for this video. So you can shop the products that I mentioned in this video down in the description box below. Okay, so anyway, I will shut up. Let's dive into playing with some makeup. This is gonna be a long video. I'm gonna try to keep it short. And this is one of those shirts that I really like but it always rolls up. It's meant to be off the shoulder, but it consistently like rolls up and it drives me crazy. <laughs> the first thing we're gonna be playing with is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. This is fragrance free. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's got like everything. Hold on, let me grab the box. It's got squalane, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and peptides. It's unbelievable. So it's supposed to be non-greasy. And I figured this would be a really nice moisturized base for what we're doing today. I love that it's fragrance free. I've talked a lot about recently how, you know, when I've got a moisturizer that has a ton of fragrance in it, sometimes it can bother me. And so Oh, this just feels silky. It's not super greasy. You can see my skin looks moisturized, but it's not like crazy oily. And I love the packaging they've been doing with a lot of their skincare, this like pretty light blue. It makes me think of like, I don't know, it feels like spa-like, I can't explain it. So the next thing I wanted to play with is their Illuminating Eye Cream. This one has jojoba, vitamin E, and cucumber, so it's supposed to help like depuff and smooth and hydrate the under eye area. Oh, it feels so, like almost cooling. I've been trying to be better about putting on eye cream during the day. I'm so good about it at night, but I feel like I need to be adding the extra moisture there. And this is feeling very nice. And I like to kind of get up here as well where you get those kind of like lines. I like to throw a little eye cream there too. So I just threw some SPF on my face. So I'm feeling nice and moisturized. Let me take a sip of coffee. So this next product is also from e.l.f. and it's their Luminous putty primer. So you may have heard of their like always sold out poreless putty primer, but I'm excited to try this luminous one. I definitely prefer a more luminous dewy base. I have more normal to dry skin. Although frankly, the regular putty primer works for me too, especially like on my nose, but this is supposed to be luminous and still kind of smoothing. So I'm getting a little bit on my finger here and I'm just going to start it here and then just kind of work it outward on my face. It feels honestly more moisturizing than I would have guessed. It definitely has that smoothing feeling though, nonetheless, like it is kind of filling in the skin and making it a little bit more smooth. It just feels so different than I expected. I think because I was used to the regular poreless putty. Feels nice, it still feels moisturized. So if you're someone that maybe you have drier skin and you're not sure about the regular poreless putty primer, maybe give this one a try because this is totally up my alley. All right, this is one I've been asked to try so many times. This is the Physician's Formula Silk Foundation Elixir. This has jojoba oil in it. Honestly, it's kind of pricey. I feel like a lot of Physician's Formula's products are pricier, um, but there are some that I really, really love, and this is one that, like I said, I've had a lot of you guys ask me about. I'm not really sure how I want to apply this. It says, it improves the appearance of skin tone and texture, delivers a silky second skin airbrush dewy finish. I'm wondering if this could possibly be a dupe for the Paracone MD No Makeup Foundation, which I'm really enjoying, but it's really pricey. And it goes bad quickly. Like it hasn't gone bad yet, but like the expiration date is like, way too soon. Like I'll never use it up before it goes bad. Y'all gotta keep me alert. My lips are so chapped right now. I feel like I've been in the elements too much lately and I just have that like awful dryness. So right now I'm just using the Shea Moisture Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm and I do like it. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. But I might need to reapply. Y'all gotta let me know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna apply this the way I would typically apply that other one. Shade match, listen y'all, I was trying to shade really quickly with a mask on my face. I was trying to like shade match by sight because obviously you can't like swatch things and test things right now. Let's just give it a try. I'm just using my Shop Miss A 
$1.50 sponge from the Shop Miss Save website. Don't foresee this having a lot of coverage. You can kind of see it's definitely covering a bit, but it's not like ever gonna be a high coverage product. I feel like my skin looks nice and hydrated and dewy though underneath it, which is nice. That e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer didn't pill up under this. I appreciate that because that's one of those things that you know the second I try a moisturizer and it like pills up under makeup I'm like dang it because you know most days I am wearing some kind of makeup and I don't have the time to deal with that you know so one pass light coverage I mean definitely some coverage like it's more than like the Glossier skin tint if you tried that that's like no coverage let's see if we can at least build it up to like medium coverage so I don't think the shade match is perfect I think you can build it up to medium coverage this is one of those products I'm just gonna have to mess with a bit because I'm not totally sold on the way it looks on my skin and I feel like it's looking really weird around my mouth like I can't get it to like blend in right All right so. the next product we're trying is from Essence and I spotted this at the store and I was like what it's their camouflage healthy glow concealer so it's ultra covering texture with light reflecting pigments for healthy glow it's got vitamin E, pro vitamin B5, long lasting, and it says it's waterproof. I'm like, whoa. It's got kind of a triangular doe foot. We're just gonna try it. I got some serious dark circles today. I don't wanna use too much for fear that it'll be too much. I, ju I just don't know. I don't know what the coverage is like on this. Let's just try it. It's definitely a thinner consist, like a way thinner formula than a lot of ones I use. I don't mind the thinner because if it's gonna kind of cover what I need, Honestly, the thinner is kind of nice, you know? It definitely covered. Actually, it does not, it looks pretty good. I got the shade 20 Light Neutral. It's like the perfect concealer for me because it's a little bit more neutral and it's not super, super light and brightening. I just feel like that doesn't end up looking nice on my under eye. I feel like it just highlights any <laughs> fine lines I have that won't quit. <laughs> I don't hate it. I really don't. I feel like it covered pretty well. It feels moisturizing. You can definitely see that my under eyes are moisturized, which again, I'd rather that than the opposite where they look dry and crepey, you know? All right, brows. This is an e.l.f. product I've loved for years. I haven't owned in a while and I'm excited to own again. It's their Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Super inexpensive. I used the shade, I think it was Neutral Brown that I grabbed. It's a little bit bigger of a pencil. I don't mind that. They do have a thinner brow pencil as well. I can link below like if you prefer that. I think e.l.f. does a pretty darn good job with their brow products and this is one that I've loved for a really long time. And I love that it comes with a spoolie. It's really, really inexpensive and it's fast. Like I'm almost done. I've like swiped it like three times and it's just like, it goes on really easily and boom, you're done. And the thing I remembered loving about it and it still is this way is that it's creamy enough that it goes on quickly, like I was saying, but it'll still stay in place pretty well. And I'll usually, lately I've been throwing on any brow product I put on, I'll dust a little powder on top of my brows, as weird as that sounds. And I feel like with any product I'm using, it just helps increase the longevity of it. Speaking of powder, let's throw a little bit in my T-zone. I have never tried this Burt's Bees Mattifying Powder Foundation. For the longest time I would see this in the stores and I loved the packaging, like I love that it looks like a little honeycomb, but I thought it was just a setting powder and I'm not really big into that. I'd much prefer something that has a little bit of coverage, especially for my nose since it's always red. <laughs> so I figured I'd give this a try. Ooh, it definitely blurred that area. And let's throw a little bit in my brows, as I said. Yeah, I feel like it definitely evened things out a little bit better. So I'm not gonna powder my cheeks yet. We're gonna do use some cream products on it in just a minute, but let's do our eyes. So I'm gonna throw on the Rimmel Magnifies Eye Primer. I have never tried this. Again, I was just kind of perusing for some dupes for some products for a future dupes video. I feel like I'm always working on some kind of dupes video. And so I wanted to see if this is a dupe for a NARS one. So I figured I'd give it a try. It definitely doesn't have like coverage or anything like that. Frankly, the NARS one I'm talking about doesn't really either. It has a little bit more than this but yeah so we are primed and y'all know I don't use eye primer every day anyway but I just figured we'd give it a try honestly I was kind of hoping it had a little bit more coverage than it did but that's okay when I knew I was doing this video with elf I was like well I already know what eyeshadow I want to use and it's the freaking bite-sized palettes you guys know I have been obsessed with these for months my absolute Favorite one they sell is the rose water one. I love I love I love this shade here I put it all over the lid. I use this in the crease I tap this on the center and then sometimes I'll use this to line sometimes I'll use it on the outer corner But I really focus it on those three I feel like every time I'm wearing this I get asked what eyeshadow palette I'm wearing and I'm like y'all it's this amazing like couple dollar elf one and I also really like the cream and sugar one 
I always wanna say colorway and then you guys made fun of me for saying colorway, so. <laughs> I did get a new one, however, and it is in pumpkin pie. And listen, I know we're in the middle of summer, but I'm already excited for fall. <laughs> Anyone else? I follow this account on Instagram that's like October always or something like that. And this person posts like fall pictures all the time and like Halloween. And you know what? It's one of my favorite accounts I follow. I love it. I just love fall, okay? This being called pumpkin pie, I'm like, oh my gosh, this gets me so excited to go to like a pumpkin patch or on a hayride. So I've never used it. I did swatch it a little bit because I couldn't help myself. And so I wanted to see if it's as good as the other one. So I figure I'm gonna take this shade here and kind of put it all over the lid. <sighs> the pigment is insane, you guys. And the reason I like this formula so much is because the shimmer is thin. And so I don't notice like tons of fallout. I feel like it blends really well. Like I also snagged the e.l.f. fluffy eye blender brush. I used to have one of these and I loved it, but I couldn't find it. So I got a new one and I just feel like the brush blends it really easily. I mean, look at that. It blends so fast. I might even mix in some from another palette to blend some things together. And that's the thing that's so nice about these. I feel like because they're so inexpensive, you can buy a couple of them and kind of mix and match and play with them. I'm gonna use this shade here from the Cream and Sugar palette just to kind of blend that together a little bit. I want to use a little bit of this darker color. We're going to tap a little bit of lightness on top of it too, but I want to use this like chocolatey brown kind of in the outer area here. Oh yeah. So I'm going to use from Cream and Sugar this shade here, this like lighter shade and just tap it on the center. I'm going to throw a little more bronze on it because I think I want to keep it more warm. I've been using that rose water one so much. I've kind of pushed the cream and sugar to the side. And this is making me wanna use cream and sugar more too, cause this is so pretty. So if you like those deeper browns and bronzes, definitely go for pumpkin pie. If you like lighter neutrals, probably cream and sugar. And then if you like more rosy tones, which is definitely my favorite, Rose Water is one for you. They have so many other ones you can check out, but those are definitely the three I love the most. Okay, so I was swatching this earlier and I was like, oh no, did I get the wrong one? So this is the Physician's Formula eye booster liner, but I got the waterproof in black is black. And now I can't remember, I know Taylor Wynn loves this and I can't remember which version she says to get that's like way blacker than the other. And now I'm like, dang it. But the packaging of the waterproof is really pretty. It's got like fake little water bumps on it. And I do, I do think the packaging feels very luxe. So I've kind of shaken it. It just didn't look quite as dark as I'd like, oh, you know, hoped. So we're just gonna see how this goes. Okay, actually blacker than I thought it would be. I've been using like a lash serum lately and I like the idea of this like supposedly has ingredients in it that's supposed to help your lashes grow, which I'm like, well, that's great because then you're wearing it all day and you know, I don't know how true it is, but the idea of it is pretty smart. So actually, better than I thought. I wonder if when I was swatching it, it was like just getting warmed up. You know what I mean? I don't know though, even swatching it here, it still doesn't look as black as other ones I use, but it looks good on the eye and it covered that shimmer where I was, you know, putting liner on really well. So I'll be using that a ton. So I'll be sure to let you know soon. Mascara, we're throwing on the Essence Lash Princess. Y'all, I repurchased this. I have not bought this in so long. And actually I was looking for the Essence Lash Extension Mascara. That is one of my favorites and uh, they, they were sold out. So I got this one, which was one that I loved a couple years ago, but I really haven't tried in a while. So I'm kind of excited to see how I like it. I feel like my tastes have changed a bit with lashes. I like them super volumized, but I like them to look a little less clumpy than I used to. Clumpy sounds negative. I don't know how else to word it though, you know? I always like the brush on this. I feel like you can really wiggle it down there and like push the lashes up because it's really, I don't want to say rigid, but rigid. <laughs> but lately I've just been doing top mascara and I've really liked the way my eyes look like that. Look at the difference between my eyes with mascara and without. That's kind of crazy. I actually might like it better without now that I'm looking at it. Dang it. <laughs> but that's what I mean. I feel like I used to be like, oh my gosh, if I don't have mascara on, my look is not complete. And I, well, I still feel that way. But sometimes when I put mascara like this on, I'm like, is that too much? Like for my taste, it's obviously, we all have our own feelings towards it, but that's what I mean. Like sometimes I do like a little more natural look, but man, this stuff has, it packs a punch and it packs a punch like 
quickly. Okay, this next thing I'm really excited to try. This is the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi-Stick. I got the shade Dazzling Peony. And the idea behind this is that you can kind of do a monochromatic look where you could tap it on your eyes, you could tap it on your cheeks, on your lips, and kind of have a monochromatic moment. But I think that's such a cute idea. And obviously today I didn't do that because I wanted to play with those bite-sized shadows. But I definitely want to give that a try, especially since I actually do like pink shadow on my eye. I wanted to use this on my cheek. I just picked up a new e.l.f. stipple brush from their Beautifully Bare line, and I wanted to give it a try with it. So when I swatched it, I was like, oh yeah, it's such a pretty... Like I feel like it's a Jesse pink, like it's totally the kind of color I would like. So with a product like this, I'll get it on the brush and then I'll wipe a little bit off so it's not just like fiercely throwing pigment on my cheek, you know? Look at that. It's such a pretty flush and it has, there's no glitter in it, but it does have this like tone to it or like this finish that makes it look like you already have highlight on. And I am so into like a super rosy cheeked look right now. I feel like a lot of people are doing that and it's just, I'm just loving blush. And I love a cream blush because I feel like it doesn't highlight texture on my skin as much as a powder blush does. And oh, I just feel like that looks so fresh and pretty. Very easy to apply. I'm excited to now have this in my collection. You guys know I'm a sucker for cream blush. I wanna throw a little bit of powder on my face and on my under eye because that Essence concealer is definitely creasing like crazy. I'm just gonna try this Burt's Bees stuff down here. Oh, actually that looks better than I thought. Sometimes with powder foundations, putting it on the under eye is like absolutely a terrible idea, but this one's a little bit thinner, so it doesn't look as bad. Actually, that looked pretty nice. Next up is a product I have loved for a while. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. I don't remember what shade I used to have, but I think this is gonna be a better shade match for me. This is Forever Sunkissed. These are amazing because they have the primer infused in it. I do feel like they're one of the most longest lasting bronzers I've ever used. I'm just gonna get a bit. They definitely have pigment to it. And I feel like bronzer lately, when I don't have it on, I don't feel like my makeup is done. And I never used to be like that, but lately I have been way into blush and way into bronzer. And I just feel like it blends in so seamlessly to the skin. That little bit of bronze really, for me, I feel like thins my face out a little bit. It just completes the look. And I also wanted to try something from their Retro Paradise line. They just dropped a whole line. It is so summery and just like, oh, it makes me wanna be on a beach somewhere. I think the packaging is really cute. I grabbed the multi-dimensional face and body shimmer. So this does have some glitter in it. So be aware of that if you're someone that doesn't like that. That's why I think I'm really gonna like it on my shoulders, but I'm gonna try it on my face too. Ooh, yeah, it definitely has a really pretty glow. And I love throwing highlight on the brow bone. I just feel like that's so pretty. So let's try a little bit on my shoulders. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look pretty? I feel like putting things right on the front of your shoulder balls. <laughs> There, looks so pretty. You can throw a little bit on your clavicle. I feel like it can just look so summery and pretty without really, I mean, what did that take me? 10 seconds? So this is totally gonna become a staple in my like summery makeup bag. So for lips, we're gonna keep it simple since my lips are so dry. And honestly, in the summer, we're wearing masks more. I'm not reaching for like lipsticks a lot right now. And you guys know I love like tinted, balmy type product. This is their Sheer Slick Lipstick and I picked up the shade Grapefruit. And this is totally the most summery lip. I feel like it just kind of gives that like comfy, like I'm not really trying kind of lip look. It's a little bit pink. It's comfortable and moisturizing. And yeah, this is exactly what my lips need right now. Because if I try to put a matte lipstick on, and the shade is so unique. I don't feel like I have a color like this in my collection right now. So this is the completed look. I feel like we have discovered a lot here today. There's a lot of new, so there's a lot I wanna kind of try more of and get back to you guys, update you in a speed reviews video in the future. I'm a teacher by trade, so I, I think follow through is important, which is why I do those speed review videos so I can really follow through with you guys and give you updates on these products as I try them. But I think the things I'm most excited to continue using, that e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer and the skincare, I really felt like gave me a really moisturized base, but if you look at my skin, it doesn't look overly greasy. And sometimes when you're using luminous products, it can be too much, and I feel like this was all just the right amount, and I love that combo. So I'm excited to use that combo all together, the Holy Hydration Face Cream, the Luminous Putty Primer, and the Illuminating Eye Cream all together again. Of course, you guys know I already love the e.l.f. shadows. Like, that is no different. I'm excited to have another option so I can kind of have all three of these open on my desk and kind of mix and match with them. Probably the e.l.f. product I'm the most excited about having is this monochromatic multi-stick that was so easy to apply. I think it looks so healthy and summery on the cheeks, and yet, 
it didn't take that much effort. And of course the e.l.f. bronzer, you guys know I already love. The e.l.f. eyebrow product, you guys know I already love. I'm not totally sold on the Physician's Formula Silk Foundation Elixir and the Essence Camouflage. I think I like the camouflage, but it definitely needs to be set. I'm gonna keep trying these. The powder foundation from Burt's Bees, I actually do think looks nice. It can look a little powdery like on the nose, but most of my powders do, so I wanna keep trying that. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again, Elf, for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Let me know what your favorite Elf product is below. I am curious. Again, if you wanna shop any of the products mentioned, I will have links down in the description box. And other than that, I hope you'll subscribe to catch three videos a week. I do beauty, lifestyle, home, cooking, vlogs, all of it. I'd love to have you join our happy little corner of the internet. And I'd also love to say hi to you on social media. It is at It's Jessica Braun. And other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.